In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to do a 4-frame head turn animation with Blender Grease Pencil. Open Blender and create a new 2D animation scene. I use two main shortcuts. Go to Edit, Preference, Key Map. Set the spacebar for the tools and tab for Pi Menu. Set up the Draw tool. Use the pen brush with a radius of 10. Scribble a quick line. Pick the Erase tool, use the eraser point, click and erase the line. Now, while drawing, just hold Ctrl to switch into Erase tool. First, the rough animation. On the timeline, I'm going to work on a single layer. Set the playhead on 1, pick the circle tool and draw the head. Press Tab to switch into edit mode and with the select tool, select the circle. Click and hold on the select tool to choose the lasso. Press G to move the circle. Also, choose this following select mode for an easy selection. Tap to switch into scalp mode, then choose the same select mode. With the push tool, sculpt the side profile. Hold F to adjust the size of the brush and hold Shift to smooth the lines. Display the 2D cursor. Make sure to activate it from the overlay menu. And shift right click to place it. Then change your turn from pivot point to 2D cursor. Shift S to reset to the world origin. The idea is to turn that 2D cursor into a custom pivot point. Let's draw the front face with another circle. Continue by adding the neck on the same method. Please to follow this step carefully. Place the playhead in between the two keyframes. In draw mode or edit mode, select the interpolate tool. Interpolate by clicking and sliding on the viewport. I'm choosing a drawing near to the halfway of the motion. It creates a blue diamond key which represents a breakdown. Left click on it and change it into a keyframe. Interpolate once again to complete the turn. And finish by spacing these keyframes three frames to each other. Now press play to have a little preview. Let's add more details. On the new layer, draw some face features. Here, I use the circle tool and the draw tool. You can speed up by doing some copy and mirror. Shift and right click to set up the 3D cursor. Make a selection. Shift T to duplicate, then press S to scale and press X minus 1 to flip. Especially for this character, I will add some earrings. Click and Shift D to duplicate this keyframe. Press G to move a bit and sculpt to match the current face. Place the 3D cursor at mid face, select the eye and the ear, then press R to rotate and Z for the axis. Middle click to navigate in the 3D space to notice the difference. Press numpad 0 to back on the camera view. Press A to select all. Left click to open the context menu. Reproject from view. Keep everything flat does matter for the process. Continue with an interpolation and finishing up with the side profile. Delete the hidden parts of the face and adjust. Second, 
the line art and clean up. Merge these layers together. Select all the keyframes, activate the multiframe, also on the stroke menu, untick scale thickness. Press A on the viewport to select all, then S to scale and G to reposition the drawings. Then deactivate the multiframe. Pull out a new viewport panel from this corner, switch to object mode, shift A to add, image, then reference. Locate your reference and import it. Move your reference out of the camera frame and then press numpad 1 for the front view. Now you can look over here to check your reference. Back on the animation, select the grease pencil object. Duplicate this layer with empty keyframes and place this new one above the reference. Reduce the opacity of the reference below to barely see it and switch to draw mode to start the redrawing process. So this is the perfect time to practice the tools. With the draw tool, hold shift to activate the stabilize stroke for more control over your lines. Do not hesitate to reuse elements from your reference with some selection, copy and paste to speed up the process. Switch to Draw, Edit and Sculpt mode to refine your drawings. Use the cutter tool to clean up instantly some intersection. When the cut feel is not right, subdivide the line concern for more efficiency. Or just use the erase tool at last resort. Next step, the front face. Again, same process, do your best and be very patient. And when you're done, one more thing to do, just delete these keyframes. Now the hard part, duplicate the keyframe. And this is a very important rule to follow. Do not draw and do not delete lines. Only use edit and sculpt to match this drawing to the reference below. Reposition the nose with the 3D cursor and the shear tool. Redo the same trick to rotate the eyes and the ear. I know it's a tedious task, but I promise you it's worth the effort. If you did manipulate correctly the lines, you should get an amazing interpolation. Reproject all the drawings from view. The line art is almost done, time to adjust and clean up. On the second keyframe, redraw the character eyes close to give a more natural look during the transition. Finishing up with the last detail before leading up to the coloring process.
Third, the coloring. Select the reference to swap it with a color version. Click back on the grease pencil object. Go to Material tab to create the color palette. Click the plus sign to create a new material. Click on this icon to select an existing material. Pick Solid Fill, then click on this length and number to make it unique. On the Fill section, click on the base color to pick up a new one. Repeat these steps for all the colors needed. Create a new layer by duplicating with empty keyframes. This one is our color layer. Set the line art layer above the color layer. Create a new layer and place it at the very top. With the solid stroke material, create a rectangle roughly to the size of the camera frame. Activate the multi frame, select all these keyframes, pick the fill tool, adjust the fill settings, precision on free. In Advanced tab, 0.1 to activate the stroke extension and the leak size on 1. So you can multi-fill color where the same part of the drawings overlay. First click to activate the stroke extension. Scroll up and down to adjust. Then a second click to fill. Deactivate the multi-fill to finish coloring manually. Take your time and keep coloring till the last frame. With the fill tool, by holding Alt, you can draw gray lines. Very helpful to close some gaps, or even to prepare for the cell shading process. So don't worry, those lines are low key and invisible in render. Set the viewport shading to render and press play to watch the final result. I hope you did appreciate this tutorial. Try to implement those little tips and tricks that I show you into your own workflow. And yeah, don't forget to give me some news in the comment section. Thank you for watching and your infinite support. Until next time, cheers.